All right, in this video, we're going to talk about reference angles. Now, understanding and being able to use reference angles is very important in trig. It's going to make uh, a lot of other things easier, uh, like uh, converting from uh, rectangular to polar coordinates and uh, solving equations, trigonometric equations, and it's just it's, it's a really good idea to be able to uh, find reference angles and understand them. All right, so the re a reference angle is an angle between zero and 90 degrees. And let's just take a look at these diagrams I have here. Uh, I have a diagram with the uh, with the angle theta in the first quadrant. So if your angle theta is in the first quadrant, that is equal to your reference angle. Okay, your reference angle is is your is an angle in the first quadrant. So if the angle is in the first quadrant, then that's equal to your reference angle. All right. Now let's suppose our angle theta is in the second quadrant. Well, this would be your reference angle. Okay, just remember your reference angle is always measured off the x-axis. You never, in other words, this angle right here from the terminal side to the y-axis, that's not the reference angle. You always measure your reference angle off the x-axis. Okay, so let's suppose we have our angle in the second quadrant, then here's our reference angle. And the way that we would find that is it would be 180 degrees minus theta. That's if your angle is in degrees. If your angle is in radian measure, then you would find your reference angle by doing pi minus theta. Okay, which all this makes sense because if we're looking for this angle, well, then that's going to be 180 degrees minus this theta here you see leaves us with this okay or it would be pi minus angle theta which would leave us our reference angle okay now what about if our reference angle is in the third quadrant well if our angle is in the third quadrant okay Remember, the reference angle is always measured off the x-axis. We would not measure it off the y-axis. It's always measured off the x-axis. All right. So how would we find this angle, this reference angle here? Well, let's see. It would be angle theta, okay, angle theta minus, and then you see here from from 180, if we take off 180 degrees from theta, then we're left with just this angle right here, which would be our reference angle. So it would be whatever theta is minus the 180 degrees. Or if you're in radians, you would subtract off pi. Now, let's look at our reference angle in the fourth quadrant. So here, if our angle is in the fourth quadrant, <clears throat> then your reference angle is measured off the x-axis. You would you never measure it off the y-axis. It's measured off the x-axis. So how would we find our reference angle? Well, we would go all the way around to 360 degrees, and then we would subtract off this theta here. See, subtract off theta, and that leaves us with just this part, okay, which is our reference angle. So it would be 360 minus theta, or if you're in radians, 2 pi minus theta. All right, so let's look at some examples finding the reference angle. And here we have our angles are in degrees. So the best thing to do is when you're finding your reference angle is just to sketch it. And so here 
we see that our angle is 30 degrees. Okay, this is theta. Well, in this case, theta is equal to our reference angle, and I'm using a subscript R to, uh, to show that this represents the reference angle. And so that would be 30 degrees. There's your reference angle. All right, now what about this one? 135 degrees. All right, so where's our reference angle? Well, our reference angle is right here, remember? It's measured off the x-axis. So to find our reference angle, that's going to be what? Well, it's going to be the 180 degrees. See, it'll be 180 degrees, and then we'll subtract off theta, and that'll leave us with just this part, which is our reference angle. So that would be 180 minus 135, which would equal what? 45 degrees. And so our reference angle, and I'm going to go ahead and write equals theta r, our reference angle. Okay, so there's your reference angle. All right, let's take a look at a another example. Alright, so we have 240 degrees. Alright, so where's 240 degrees? Well, 240 degrees is in the third quadrant. So that would be 240 degrees. And where's our reference angle? It's right here. Remember, it's always measured off the x-axis. So, to find our reference angle, it would be the 240 degrees, and then we take off the 180, which will just leave us with the reference angle. So that's going to be 240 degrees minus 180, which would be, what, 60 degrees, which that is our reference angle. So that's this angle here, 60 degrees. Now what about this one? 330 degrees. There's 330 degrees. And our reference angle, measure it off the x-axis. Okay. So how would we find our reference angle? Well, that's going to be what? We're going to go all the way around. See, look. We're going to go all the way around, 360, and then we're going to take off the 330, and that will leave us with just our reference angle. So we have uh, 360 minus 330, and that's going to be what? 30 degrees, which is our reference angle. Okay. Alright, so that's an example of them in all four quadrants. And let me go ahead and do some more examples and we'll do them in radians. Alright, so here we have a measure of 2 pi over 3. Now, where is 2 pi over 3? Well, 2 pi over 3 is going to be in the second quadrant. And one thing that you can do if you're, if you're having trouble figuring out which quadrant it's in when it's in radians, you could convert it to degrees real quick and then that would let you know. But this one's in the second quadrant. This is 2 pi over 3. Here's our reference angle measured off the x-axis. Okay. And so here our reference angle would be what? It would be pi. See, we're going to go pi. And then we're going to take off the 2 pi over 3. And that would leave us with our reference angle. So our reference angle is equal to pi minus 
2 pi over 3. And I know everybody still remembers how to subtract fractions. So this is going to be 3 pi over 3 minus 2 pi over 3 when I get a common denominator. So our reference angle would be pi over 3. Alright, so what about this one? 7 pi over 6. Alright, and 7 pi over 6 would be in the third quadrant. And like I said, you can convert this to degrees real quick. You multiply, you multiply this by 180 over pi. So to convert it to degrees, you would multiply it by 180 over pi. And then that would give you the degree measure. Alright, and so here is 7 pi over 6. And so our reference angle, remember, measured off the x-axis, there's our reference angle. And so to get our reference angle, we're going to go 7 pi over 6, and then we would need to take 180 degrees off or pi radians off. Okay, because from here to here is pi. Okay, so our reference angle would be 7 pi over 6 minus pi. And so when we get a common denominator, that would be 7 pi over 6 minus, and then this would be what? 6 pi over 6, which would give us pi over 6 for our reference angle. All right, and so let's do two more. We've got 5 pi over 3. So where is 5 pi over 3? Well, that's going to be here in the fourth quadrant. So here's 5 pi over 3. And our reference angle, remember, is measured off the x-axis. All right. So now, to find this, well, we'll have to go all the way around to 2 pi, and then we'll take off, see this is 5 pi over 3 here, so it's going to be 2 pi minus 5 pi over 3. So our reference angle is 2 pi minus 5 pi over 3. Okay. And if we get a common denominator, this is going to turn into what? We get a common denominator of 3. That will turn into 6 pi over 3. Okay, And then 6 pi over 3 minus 5 pi over 3 is just pi over 3. Okay, And then the last one here, well, we know that pi over 6 is in the first quadrant. I'm sorry. We know that pi over 6 is in the first quadrant. And we know since it's in the first quadrant, then that is our reference angle. So our reference angle is pi over 6. All right, so I hope this video help and just remember it's really important to be able to, to be able to find reference angles and be able to use them uh, so hope you like this video hope you'll check out my other ones and you can subscribe if you like them all right thanks